When setting up the software to initialize a lock, there are a few components we must complete to get our lock ready. One of the things we may or may not have to do is put the initialization command on our key if we already don't have one set up in the field. The next thing we'll need to do is enter the lock serial number into the system. Once we have the serial number in the system, we can tell the lock software that we want to then assign that lock to an ATM by completing the initialization process at the software. And then the last part is either creating an ATM to assign the lock or assigning the lock to an existing, an existing ATM. First, let's put the command on our manager key. We'll snap our key into the reader, then click the red and black icon for touch key info. As you can see here, has information, touch key number. It gives me the user assigned who's the manager. Red is the name, and then it gives me the employee ID. Click Edit Format Touch Key. Um, in Command 1, I would select Initialization, then click Save. Yes. So this is going to put the initialization command on the key. Once we have that initialization command on the key, we can then use that key to initialize multiple locks starting with the serial number 23 and anything above that. Anything below the 23 serial number, you'll need to use the uh, traditional way of initializing the lock. Cancel. Okay. Next thing that we need to do is enter our lock serial number into the system. Our lock serials are a resource, so resources, locks, our lock resources page appears. Click the new button. We'll then enter in our lock serial number. Currently the lock serial number I am working with is 23029252. Click the save button our lock ID is in the system, we can now tell the, the system that we want to assign that lock to an ATM. So click close, management, lock initialize multiple remote. Click lock ID. So if you have multiple lock IDs, they'll all be listed here. Uh, currently I only have one, so I highlight the complete line by selecting it next to the lock ID. Click OK select my user key who I set up and really you can choose any key you just need to make sure that the key that you that the key that's out in the field has the initialization command on it then click initialize lock and what this does is it flags the database to say okay I want to assign this lock to an ATM click OK and close now let's create an ATM to assign this lock to resources, ATMs, click new, give my ATM uh, primary ID SG54237 or SG45367. Uh, let me give it a site name which is my desk. And when you give it a site name you know you can either call it really whatever you want to. You just want to make sure that it's something that maybe gives a description of where the lock might be at, like Bob's Gas and Go, something like that. Lock ID, I click Assign. And I'm going to find the lock ID I just initialized. 23029252 or what we can also do is go down here to the Find and start typing it in if we have multiple 230292 and then it'll slowly whittle that down and this works for any screen that you may see in the system. Click the OK button. Um, your time zone will default to your system time. If the lock is in a different time zone make sure you set this accordingly. Um, in the US we do observe daylight savings so check daylight savings observed. If you're outside and you don't use day daylight serving, savings time um, just leave that unchecked. Next click save and close. Your lock has been initialized into the software and now assigned to an ATM. You can now generate operation codes for that lock ID.